Hey, 5 Plus, we got some cold weather on the way. Cold temperatures we've seen so far this fall. We're talking about your Tuesday night into your Wednesday morning. That's going to be the coldest temperatures we've seen this fall. And we've got another couple of chilly mornings on the way, certainly. But this is going to be the best chance that we see at least a light freeze. Talking about a couple of hours at or just below freezing for Northwest Arkansas back into Northeast Oklahoma. That's Delaware, Adair counties there in Oklahoma, Benton, Washington, Madison, Carroll counties in Northwest Arkansas. We have added the frost advisory for the River Valley. Now uh, LaFleur County down towards Sebastian into Scott counties, not officially added, but I'll tell you this. I bet you we'll have at least some areas in those uh, counties that will slip down in the 30s and anywhere that gets into the 30s tonight really can't roll out some patchy frost. So again, the main thing here, take care of those pets, make sure that they're warm, ready to go. And even more importantly, the plants. If you got something you're not ready to say goodbye to just yet, you're going to have to cover it up, do something there, or bring it inside because temperatures are going to be chilly. Again, how cold are we talking? I think we're going to mostly see a lot of lower to mid 30s for Northwest Arkansas. There will likely be a few upper 20s that mix in. I do think we will see a few upper 20s mix in parts of Northwest Arkansas back into Northeast Oklahoma. We're just gonna see more widespread low to mid 30s. Uh, temperatures in the River Valley down towards the Washita's, we're gonna see a healthy mix of upper 30s, low 40s. That's where most of us will be. And there'll probably be a couple cooler spots that even get into the mid 30s. So we'll watch that for you. But again, this is gonna be our coldest night we've seen. So we'll likely have those kids going off to the bus stop tomorrow with jackets. It's gonna be chilly, right? Still takes a little bit of time when you cool off that much. Even when the sun hits that dry air, takes a little bit of time for it to get to a comfortable level. So overall, we'll plan for a chilly start to the day uh, well through the mid morning hours for Northwest Arkansas River Valley too. And then as we get into the afternoon, look at this. It's going to be the coolest day of the week. We're talking about lower to mid 60s Northwest Arkansas 60s in the River Valley. Again, we'll see temperatures on the chilly side through mid morning as well in the River Valley. And we'll be turning the page from morning to afternoon with uh, upper 50s to low 60s scattered around again, low to mid 60s for highs. Wednesday, Northwest Arkansas, mid to upper 60s, mostly mid 60s in the River Valley. And today was a gusty day. We will see lighter winds tomorrow out of the east, northeast, only about five miles per hour. So truly a comfortable day, even though temperatures will be cooler. You'll have that sunshine warming up. Temperatures only in the 60s and the winds light, not cooling you down. Uh, that'll make it feel pretty comfortable outside. But again, as soon as the sun sets tomorrow, that dry air is going to cool off rapidly. We'll see another chilly night, potential for a few areas to get down around freezing northwest Arkansas on Thursday morning. We just may see more areas a little bit above freezing, but we'll still have a little bit of a freeze potential there on Thursday. And certainly some patchy frost potential scattered all across northwest Arkansas, northeast Oklahoma, slowly warming it up. And that's a good warming trend you like to see, right? Just working our way towards the 70s for the weekend, cool nights. 30s, low 40s mix, lots of sunshine, drought conditions getting worse because we stay dry. As we get into Monday, especially late Monday, Monday night, Tuesday, disturbance likely going to miss us mostly off towards the north. Uh, but as it does so, maybe the tail end of that sends a couple of spotty showers our way. Does not look like a big rain chance, but it's there. Again, late Monday, Monday night, first half of Tuesday. That's pretty much your 24-hour window right there for a chance of a few spotty showers. And looking beyond that, the 10 day forecast, as we go through the rest of next week, there'll be a couple chances in there where the pattern maybe throws a few spotty shower chances our way. Again, we'll have another chance for some upper 30s, low 40s mixed in as we get into Thursday morning. Nice little stair step up here with temperatures into the 70s for the week and a little bit warmer as we get into the work week next week for the River Valley. All in all, not too bad for this time of year. It is above average, but we'll take some 80s.